Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. I'm YouTube famous now. I'm also a booty guru, <laughs> which is why I'm, I really like this chapstick. I think the pigmentation is amazing. You can really see the coloring and the coating of it. Anyway, I was so bored today. I was looking around at videos and happened to, uh, <laughs> oh my God, fall down the rabbit hole of YouTube again, as we all do, right? And um, just happened to fall upon this video by uh, Karina Kaboom! <laughs> Kaboom! Ka grenade. Uh, and it's an opinion video where she talks about why is Amy Slayton so hated on YouTube? I'm like, why are you so getting to this video six months late is what I wanted to say in the comment section. Oh, there's no comment section in Karina's videos, which is interesting because she says, please don't go leave <laughs> Amy any hate. And I'm thinking, did you do your research? Do you read in her Amy's videos? She didn't do her research. I mean, it was very obvious watching the video. Um, but I mean, what a slow day in the beauty guru drama world when uh, Karina makes a video about Amy Slayton. I mean, sweetheart, are you running for the school bus? You're the last to get on. Uh, I, uh, first of all, one thing that Karina might want to know is that Amy Slayton is not maybe one of the most hated people on YouTube. Why? I, for many different reasons. Not just the two that she talks about in there, which are so ooh, boring. Who'd even care? But um, Amy Slayton is a phenomenon on YouTube that you better be really careful if you want to enter the world of Amy Slayton because once you do, multiple people will then make videos about you. And I know that Karina doesn't like it when other people have opinions about her. So... You have now entered the world of Amy Slayton. Strap yourself in, sweetheart, because you have no idea for the ride that you're about to get on. <laughs> I didn't. That's just from personal experience. So anyway, Karina goes into this video, and the first part of it is the, the she says, she's questioning why Amy is so hated on YouTube, right? And the first part of it, oh, she also wears a trucker hat in it. Thank you, Karina, for that homage. She, like, low-grade shade people in ways that you don't even know that they're low-grade. She's low-grading shade because it's done so poorly. And I don't understand the Care Bears. I definitely don't understand them dancing at the end. It's almost a little spooky strange to me. Um, I won't psychoanalyze that, nor do I need to. You guys can just go watch the last 10 seconds of every one of her videos where she has dancing Care Bears. Anyway... Um, I am watching this video, and the first part of it is, and y'all know, I said I was going to come back and do some drama, right? I did not think that it would be the very next day talking about Karina Kaboom, and like I said, I wish her all the best. I don't have any issues with Karina Kaboom, but I am going to talk about this video because she chose to make a video about Amy Slayton. Y'all know I'm very passionate about the world that is Amy Slayton, so, um, I was watching this video, and so she has two very valid points of why Amy is hated. Now, if you guys are probably coming to this video because you are as intrigued or hate watch or love Amy, any of those categories of people that are the only pe reason people watch Amy Slayton videos, <laughs> you would be, I think, just mesmerized by the research that Karina has done and what she's come up with and her opinion and that she is now, today, needed to you know, tell us her wisdom. So the first reason that she's come up with why uh, Amy is the most hated person on YouTube or why people hate her on YouTube is because she um, is a scam artist. <gasps> I'm shocked! <laughs> and she goes in there to tell the whole story about uh, Amy and Tammy and <laughs> I mean, this is like a year old at this point, right? And, um, you know, I mean, she doesn't go in there and she sits in there and she says, make sure you do your research. I always tell everybody, go do your research, do your research, do your research. Honey, you should have done your research. Amy, about three weeks ago, came into a live stream with Miss Fucking Wonderful and Yabba and I think Stay Negative, Ron. And I mean, Ron's been on this shit from the beginning. I mean, he knows exactly what's going on at any given time. And, you know, like, so Karina's going to come out with this video now when those three dealt with it in 
in a live stream. Amy came into a live stream. She addressed the scamming. It's old news. We're done with it. People are making claims that they sent money to GoFundMe. Amy's got the list of people that donated it. It's it's over. It's done. It's old news. It's a, I mean, it's beating a dead horse at this point. What can you possibly tell us? So what that tells me is you're so desperate to put a video out and there's no shit going on with Draw and the Beauty Guru that you had to make a video about Amy Slayton. Or she's directly coming for me, which I seriously doubt since Karina swears she doesn't watch my videos. So she must have no clue that I make Amy Slayton videos. But anyway, I did message Amy and I was like, did you watch Karina's video? What did you think about it? But anyway, so the second thing that she talks about at length, okay, that the other reason why, <laughs> this is just you guys, do you watch Amy Slayton videos? I mean, like, the second reason that Karina comes up for with why people really hate her is because she has a P.O. box. Girl, did you do your research? Did you hear what people have said about her? I mean, there are so many allegations of things that Amy has done. I won't say it. I'll let you guys leave it in the comment section of my video because I do have a comment section open and I don't delete comments. So, you know, it, it's whatever. Uh, but... <laughs> Karina, honey, if you left your comment section open, then what you would know is that everybody would be informing you right now that no, you don't, you're, you're wrong. That's people don't really give a shit. I mean, I think Yabba made a vi one video about her talking about her PO box, but other than that, no, people don't really care about that so much. I mean, some people do, but not at the extent that you do. So then I was sitting there, and she's like going on about somebody else has a P.O. box and she's really, Karina's really against P.O. boxes and people sending, I'm thinking to myself, your closest friends that you claim to have as closest friends on YouTube all have P.O. boxes, all have wish lists and ask people to send them shit and do openings. So do I. I mean, like, I don't listen. And she's like, I think it's phony. And people say, you don't have to send me anything. And you don't have to send, I don't, send me cars. Send me computers. Send me trips. Listen, I'm not going to turn it down. I like Christmas. I like gifts. If people are nice enough that they want to send me shit, I'm fine with that. Like, I think that's awesome. I've sent people that I love things before. Well, I mean, I just think that's nice. I'm not going to sit here as a bullshit artist and go, I have a P.O. box, but don't send me anything. I mean, I'm sorry, Karina. Are you jealous that people aren't sending you? things. I'm sure she doesn't have a P.O. box because she's afraid if she went to go to the P.O. box, somebody would be standing there because she's so terrified of everything in the world. It's like at some point you have to not live in fear, right? So I don't know. I mean, I give it to old Karina for trying to, uh, you know, come up with a new spin on Amy Slayton, but all you would have had to have done was gone into YouTube searched Amy Slayton and then searched the past 24 hours and there's probably 30 videos done about her. People are consumed with Amy Slayton. They do videos about her on a daily basis, right? Um, what would have been funnier is if you had come up with some like fake conspiracy or something about Amy. And the thing is, is that Amy, like the one thing I love about her is Love her or hate her. And I know a lot of people think she's a scam artist and she's disgusting and all that kind of stuff. And hey, I get it. You know, like, and she and I have had conversations off where she's like told me that, you know, her truth and she's come onto the live stream and told her truth and people at this point have to believe it or not believe it. And like I've said, I don't really give a shit. I just like watching the journey. I will say this, Amy Slayton has gained 10,000 subscribers in the last 28 days. I looked before I made this video and she's getting between 40 and 60,000 video views a day and her videos, no lie, are two to three minutes long. She must be a smart cookie about something. She got something figured out, you know? Like, back in the day, I thought it was her brother, but I know that that's not the case now. So, like, Amy kind of has this gig figured out a little bit. I did think the other day when she was talking about somebody sent her some stuff from Ulta, and it was, like, $40 for this lip liner, and she was like, oh, this is so expensive. But I didn't understand if she bought it herself or somebody sent it to her. But then what the best is is Karina repeatedly says Amy and these other beauty gurus, okay? Which means Karina Kaboom, Kaboom! Karina Kaboom. Do you ever wonder where she came up with that name? Like, I mean, you know that's not her name. Like, you know she doesn't like, you know, sign her credit cards, Mrs. Kaboom. <laughs> I would love that so much. She's up in the, you know, Walmart. Who is texting me like crazy? She's up in the Walmart and uh, 
she's like wondering, uh, you know, or she's like up in the Walmart and she's like, they're like, okay, you know, your bill is $141 and two cents. And she's like, um, okay. And then she signs it, Mrs. Kaboom, in my opinion, it's too expensive at Walmart. <laughs> Go watch the video. I don't care. Listen, nobody will give me credit for credit due that I sent tons of people to Karina Kaboom and then they watched her and then they thought she was funny or her opinions or whatever. I will say this. Usually, what kills me about this video is that usually when I do watch Karina's videos, they're spot on. Like, she gives the drama and she gives it very quick and she knows what she's talking about and she's right into it. Which, you know, maybe, and a lot of people accuse me of this, maybe the key to it is, Karina, honey, stay in beauty, okay? And we know Amy Slayton's not a beauty guru, okay? Amy Slayton herself has said she's not a beauty guru. She's a smart cookie. She made a video called, what was it, The Power of Beauty or whatever that was called, like Nikki Tutorials, and she got millions of views. I mean, she's just smart like that, okay? Like, it's not like she's stupid, and if people want to send her shit, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, why do people have such an issue with P.O. boxes? But Karina says in her video, she goes, I've had an issue with this for quite some time, and I've wanted to say something, and I thought, well, I'd like to be on those phone calls and Skype conversations that you have with your best friends. Do you address it with them? I mean, do you address the hundreds of dollars of things that they get sent? Because if you don't, then that's kind of hypocritical, don't you think, that you're accusing Amy Slayton of the same thing that your closest friends on YouTube do? I'm just saying, I don't know. I don't really give a shit. I love when people send me stuff. I think it's the coolest thing, whether it's a postcard or, you know, the other day this kid sent me this book that he had made for me and it broke my heart and I cried. You can go watch it on my vlog. I'm vlogging daily. It's called Peter Vlogs every year for the it would mean the world to me if you wouldn't followed it. But anyway, I mean, it broke my heart. He's the sweetest kid in the entire world. And, um, hey, Tyler. And uh, so everybody loved it. And they commented on it because they were able to. And uh, so, because the comment section's open. And, um, you know, they commented on it. And he responded to some of the comments. And he sent me a Snapchat. He said, I've never felt so loved. He was like, thank you for opening that on my, um, on your video. And then people giving me so much love and support. So, I don't know that I really have an issue with the P.O. Box thing. I think it's kind of cool, honestly. It's kind of like a bigger pen pal kind of thing. What's the big deal, you know? I would like to maybe see Karina try a few things differently. Have some social media opener. Just try it for a week. Just a week. Hey, 24 hours. Just even 24 hours. I think what she might be surprised to find is that she has more lovers and haters. Because there are, like, like Amy Slayton, okay, there are a lot of people that really love Karina Kaboom and support her. So, you know, Karina, you might open those things up and just see if people would respond positively to that because I think they would. So, anyway, I just was kind of, you know, there's like, I could probably right now list on my hands and then my toes, <laughs> if I didn't have shoes on, I hate wearing shoes. But anyway, I could list all the allegations against Amy Slayton and all the reasons that people hate her. I can tell you it's the P.O. box is at, is the least of their worries. So I did think it was kind of funny that the queen of research herself couldn't go research a little bit more or maybe even find out that Stay Negative hosted a live stream with Amy Slayton in it and go find some, I mean, that's kind of like on the minute news two weeks ago. So, you know, I mean, like, I don't know. Amy sent me a video the other day dancing to Britney Spears. I absolutely loved it. She posted, I didn't look. I hope she, ah, oh, I hope she posts this video. Y'all will love it. She's dancing in her living room to Britney Spears. Uh, it's uh, maybe one of my favorite to date Amy Slayton videos I've ever seen. And that's kind of what I love is that Amy doesn't care and now she's kind of like fighting back a little bit. I mean, Karina does make a very valuable point in the, in the thing she says, you know, like, we fall down that we like fall into the journey and the the love of these people. Well, that's right. Like whether you love her or hate her, I think people watch Amy because they want to see what's going to happen next. You know, like is it a love affair that you have with her or is it a shit show and you're watching the train wreck? Does it really matter? I mean, to Amy, I don't know. She asked me what I thought and I said, baby, people are watching you. People aren't watching a lot of other people. I'm not getting 40,000 views to 60,000 views a day. I wish I was. I ain't gonna be a bullshit artist about it. That is what I hate, is I hate when YouTubers get on, you know, I do agree with Karina on that one, is that when bullshit, when YouTubers get online, they're like, bullshit, you don't have to send me anything, and Amy does do that, I know. You know, and all that kind of stuff. But if you're gonna have a P.O. box, basically what you're saying is, send me things, <laughs> right? I mean, like, if you have a P.O. box, you're basically sending me things. I think underneath my videos, excuse me, where I list all my PO information, 
And the reason I got a P.O. box was because so many people ask me to, open, to have a P.O. box. So finally I just went and got one, right? It's kind of a rite of passage, I think, for a YouTuber anyway. Um, I mean, it was fun, and I get more letters than anything else, so I do love the letters, and I read every single one of them, and what was interesting to me, though, was that, or what's interesting to me is that she goes on and on, I'm not even a bullshit artist about it, I think underneath my video, it says, send me shit if you want, <laughs> with my P.O. box, and I love it, I'm actually going to my P.O. box right now, <laughs> I wish Karina just once would make a video and call it, you know, Peter Mon is a bullshit artist and then she could wear the trucker hat and just truly come for me and whatever those dancing bears are. God, could somebody please translate that for me? I don't know. I'm so confused. Either she's collapsing or I don't know. She's... <laughs> What's with the dancing care bears? Can somebody please explain it to me? And the that hats with subliminal messages on it and all this. It's just so very strange to me. Anyway, go watch Karina's video. See what you think about it. If you want to leave comments about her video on my video, feel free. My comment section's open. All right, you guys. I love you. I have a really fun video that I'm doing later today. So it's totally something I've never done before. So stay tuned. I love you guys so much. Bye.